Hi guys, my name is Mo and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video about how it is to drive with one eye and tips to drive that way. So if you want to know, keep on watching. So driving a car with one eye is super hard. Um, it gets easier with time. Like I am like such a better driver than I was when I started driving two years ago with one eye. But so let's kind of start from this i don't know how i'm gonna like organize this correctly but so when you sit in the driver's seat you kind of just have to feel the car like the size of the car um people say it's bigger to drive bigger cars um i just don't like driving bigger cars i didn't like them when i had two eyes either um so i drive kind of a bigger car right now but i used to have a little car but so so when I sit here in the driver's seat I kind of just imagine the front wheel here and then I can imagine the other front wheel so I kind of know how I am in a road a tip that I learned when I had two eyes when I was driving is as long as you can see the center divider in like the bottom corner kind of like in like the middle of the bottom corner of the windshield you are in the center but that kind of changes when you have like one eye so i kind of sit that way i feel much more comfortable um being in the left lane on a road i know it's not technically the lane you're supposed to be in but i just feel much more comfortable in that because i like being able to see that i that there's no cars coming this way because if a car passes me i get nervous that like i'm super close or they're super close to me because i can't see that um, so I am also blind in my left eye to make this easier. So it'd be the opposite for people the other way, maybe. I don't know. Um, I feel like I do a lot of things opposite because I don't like being on this side or like parking on this side or like being on this side. I like the other side better, but I feel like that's opposite for people, but I don't know. But so when I drive, I like to be in the left lane so then no cars are really past me and I can see like the edge line to make sure I'm going good. When I'm on this way and I have cars past me on my left side, I just get super nervous because I can't see the distance and I'm scared that they're going to hit me. That's really the only reason why. So also when I park, um, this will forever be a problem is like how close you park to the car in front of you because no matter what, sometimes I either get it perfect or I underestimate it so much that I'm like parked like so far back from the other car. So I don't think that'll ever freaking get better, but my tip is when you can kind of um, stop seeing the front of the car is when you should stop. Or if there's like a curb, I just always let it give extra room. It's just easier. I mean, sometimes I've hit the curb, but people do that with two eyes, so it's fine. <laughs> Um, but so like when I do park, I like to park this way into spots more so just because I don't like being close on this side because I can't tell how far this is from here. But if I know I'm good on that side, then I know I'm good on this side. So like I usually like go past the car. So like here's car park and I go and I know that like I'm good enough on this side. So then I go this way and then I also just trust it because I know that I know that I'm in the right spot even though like my vision is telling me different i can just kind of like feel the space between the cars and i like to give a lot of space it might be way unnecessary space between me and the car in front of me but just to be safe and technically you're supposed to be like a certain amount between spaces i don't really remember the law it's been a while sorry but i just like the extra space in case somebody hits me from behind me too that's why so you don't shoot up and hit the car in front of you when changing lanes um, it's really hard for me just because I don't like cutting cars off and I can't necessarily see how far away they are. So, um, it is nice to have a passenger. It's usually my boyfriend in the car with me when I'm driving. So I kind of have him look over when I get on the freeway or when I'm changing lanes either direction just to be 100% sure. But when I am by myself, um, this car sucks to help because this thing gets in the way when I turn around to see. I mean, I guess it's better that my can see out of my right eye because if I saw it in my left eye, I'd just see completely this. So my right eye is the one that helps me even be able to see past this thing. So I usually do that. Um, I'm usually the weenie that ends up just like slowing down 100% on the side on that ramp instead of like going in front of the car just because I'm so scared that they're gonna hit me. It's a fear of mine. I don't like driving that much, but I still do all the time. Um, so yeah, 
um, a good way to kind of do it is when you're passing back over a car when you can see them in your rear view mirror is when you're safe to go that's actually the traffic law too yeah, I do give, like I said, a lot of space between me and the car in front of me. That's what I try to do when I also go over in the other lane to pass like a semi truck or something. But, you know, sometimes that doesn't always happen. But the way that I <laughs> kind of like do it and the C is if I can, um, sometimes like obviously you can tell when a car is like kind of farther back. But I know if there's like some space between me or if there's a car behind me and the car is like even with them or like a little bit behind i know that i can do it or um if like i'm going and i can kind of just like see i kind of when you can't see you just imagine see in your head for it i feel like i don't know is that what people see i don't really know anybody else that has like one eye so i don't really like know how it is for other people but you can sorry kind of just see like the way it's going like the pattern that you'll be going to go um sometimes when in doubt I just let the car go I go slower and then I wait for them so I know 100% sure that I am able to I am a driving weenie or when I'm trying to like pass a car and like the lane's ending too and I can't see how long that is to see that just like makes it really hard it is hard to drive like I've said so like all these things because driving really is just like space between each other and cars and it's a lot hard to do that um i feel like if i didn't already know how to drive it'd be a lot harder for me to have like learned how to drive with one eye just because i wouldn't know like spacing and like feeling of the road because driving also is a part of just like feeling so when like you're staying in the center of a lane you can feel the space you can feel like being between the lines you can feel like when you're running over a line you know so that's why i feel more comfortable in the left lane because as long as i know that my side right here is fine the other side is fine but if a car is coming i can't i'm not 100 percent sure if my side is fine or not um so what else is there you end up checking your mirrors a lot just to make sure that nothing is near you that is like a really big thing you can't just trust your mirrors either especially because like distance is different in them too so i end up turning over a lot and you always want to make sure that nobody is here if your left side is your blind spot especially that is super hard there's times where like i look in my rear view mirror and it's fine and then there's like a car right exactly next to me and i can't see it because i completely can't see out of the left window unless i turn when i'm driving so it turns into a lot more looking in the mirrors i look in the rear view mirror I said that we were sorry I look in that mirror a lot to like kind of see the cars I like to like kind of map it out to see where everybody's going to so just in case I need to pass or move over for some reason like I kind of know where all the cars are too and like keep an eye on to like remember oh there's a red car behind me and then it passes me I'm like okay now it's not behind me I do that a lot sometimes I mistake the actual color and I'm just like oh my god there was a white car there and I'm like oh I guess it was silver and it's like up there in front of me you know that that's also kind of like a dumb me <laughs> thing so nighttime driving with lights it is so hard um i've said before on my channel if you haven't seen my other videos that nighttime driving darkness is really hard for me like i used to be able to see in the dark but now i can't at all at night it's really hard for me to see so i'm like kind of hyper paranoid i don't even know if that's a word at night though so i always like watch the road to make sure nothing's crossing on it because i kind of live in the middle of nowhere so there's a bunch of wildlife that runs across the road and stuff so like i just like look back and forth like i said before kind of like mapping out everything um i drive like the same route every day like i know the road so i feel more comfortable driving but in towns it's super hard or also um when there's a bunch of lights or like headlights it's a good thing but also a terrible thing for me because at night I see a light but I can't see how far away that light is at all because I can't see the car I just see the lights because I also don't because the 3d thing so if I see lights I get scared unless like you can tell when something's super super far away but if like I see lights like I freak out and I can't tell how far away they are or like in cities if there's too many lights it like glares even with my like anti-glare glasses and just like my eyes it just makes it so much harder to see or a car coming with bright lights um the only thing that I found 
that has helped me is trusting yourself, grasp grasping the wheel and just keeping it straight and going knowing that you are in the lane perfect um there are times i do i skirt off the road a little bit or i go a little bit onto the shoulder just to ensure that the car isn't gonna hit me and that's not the good thing but just like night is super hard so i just grab the wheel and i trust myself knowing that i'm in the center of the lane nothing is going to hit me Kind of like I said before, um, just making sure cars aren't in your blind spots too. Um, you know, like I said, I can't see out this left window at all. So just always double checking here, mapping the cars out. Back into parking for people who aren't like me because I always have to do things weirder. Um, so a good way to drive um, is to pick your driver's side, which I say is the opposite for me that I just don't like driving with this side. But to go to a car and then since this is like where you are on that part of the car and kind of like I've said before, like mapping out the front wheels to make sure that like you're feeling the car um, is to when you park it's picking the driver's side to then like say car here and then you're going and you can see like making sure you're fine on this side and then trusting this side but i'm like the other way which is weird but it's me so i think that's like all of my tips and like tricks with driving um if you have any questions or like certain like things i didn't say in this video or like you want to know comment them below i'm always here to answer these um this is like how I've learned to drive. I learned how to drive with two eyes, so it's kind of different for me now because I've just adapted instead of having to completely learn it. But those are like the struggles. It's really just distance, and that's what driving is. So it does get hard. But yeah, like I said, any questions, thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I'm always doing these kind of videos, suggestions, comment them, all of that. Social media is linked below. I hope you have an amazing day, and I'll see you next time.